Hello and welcome. We are at the Rio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, and today we're gonna to be exploring the biggest and best hotel room at the Rio Las Vegas. Welcome to the Rio Penthouse. So this monstrosity of a room actually has three different floors. So we are currently on the middle floor. If we zoom out here, down here is the basement. I have no idea what is lurking down there and I'm slightly afraid to check it out, but we will in a second. And then behind me over here is the upstairs. I mean, be honest, how creepy does it look down there? I've never seen a basement in a hotel room before. This is so weird. Let's go down. Okay, so we have a bedroom down here in the basement. This is a nice little desk, bathroom. Ooh, a nice bathroom. Check this out. Why is it so dark in here? Jeez, where are the lights at? There's a gym here, look how cool. Wow, look at this. I'm not gonna lie, that little exercise room is pretty adorable. You got three legitimate pieces of exercise equipment. That's pretty impressive for a hotel room. Nice, let's move on. Understand me now. If sometimes you see that I'm mad. Okay, small living room here, another bedroom here, and at least one or two more bedrooms over here. Yeah. Okay, oh, actually, bathroom. Wow, look at this. And then this is actually just a closet, so that's the only bedroom. There's only two bedrooms here in this entire suite. Why is it so dark everywhere? I'm getting scared. I'm scared. Faucet heads are so bizarre. Oh, bidet. There's a bidet too. Is this not the saddest little desk you've ever seen? <laughs> oh my gosh. So the last time I was at the Rio was about a year or two ago and I booked just a standard room and that room, let me tell you, was a nightmare. Just so disgusting and just not taken care of at all. And I wanted to come back and see what the best room here would be like. You know, obviously the decor and everything is super outdated, but the room itself is actually pretty clean. You know, you could see that everything's pretty beat up, but the place is clean. Like I've, I've looked in corners and looked around and it's really not bad at all. For those wondering, this room cost me a grand total of about $700 for the night on a Wednesday in February. And this room is 3,900 square feet, but there's a number of other similar penthouses at the Rio, and all of them are around 3,000 square feet. I think this one I'm in currently is one of the bigger ones, but they're all pretty similar overall. And let me tell you, they're all on this 20th floor, and I'll show you in a little bit in the hallway and stuff. It's dead here. It's just so, there's, there's probably no one in a penthouse room besides me right now. Also, there's a number of these random boxes throughout the, uh, throughout the penthouse. It's kind of cool. I don't know what they're for, but you know, they look cool, you know? All right, the wife has just arrived. Let's get her reaction. Come on, Greta. Hello. Explore. Oh, wow. The ceilings are so high. Wow, I like this. 
This is fun. This place is nice. Ooh, is this your office right here? Broken too. Ta-da! TV. <laughs> mm. This couch feels a little dirty <laughs> to look at. There's downstairs. I feel like the carpet could use a redo. <laughs> There's a gym. <laughs> My legs are too short. This is nice. This is my favorite part. I think the entrance. I feel like it's cool for a couple, two couples. Of friends? Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it definitely doesn't smell good in here, but I don't know. The smell isn't too overwhelming, I don't think. So we're going downstairs to have Korean barbecue, one of the few restaurants they have open here right now. So this is 20, 20th floor, like I said. This has all the big penthouse rooms and big rooms. This struck me earlier. This, I think used to be like a VIP reception or something like that, but it's clearly not in operation anymore. Rio things, Rio's in shambles. Very big menu. Two interesting things. Certain things you order on here, they'll actually kind of cook it at the table so that when you're eating it, it's at the perfect temperature. And then second cool thing, there's a call button that you press when you're ready to order. <laughs> Can I get the teriyaki chicken barbecue plate? Sure, no problem. I'll take the, the beef bulgogi. Bulgogi, sure. <laughs> bulgogi? Yeah, bulgogi is fruit, fruit soy sauce marinated beef, so it's, it's gonna be a beef soloid. Okay, so one beef, one, oh, one chicken, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it spicy or just hot? It's, it's like hot temperature-wise, but it's delicious. Dinner was beautiful. That place was awesome. Highly recommend. We're just bouncing around right now. We have an hour until we see their premiere show, the Rio's premiere show. Wow, the Vegas Spectacular, award-winning show. Overall, the Rio, it's a little dead on this side of the casino, but on the other side, the main area, kind of near like the check-in, there's some people, there's some life to it. It's not that bad. I've never seen this before. This is called the Rock and Roll Chapel at the Rio. Look at this. It is just about time to hit up the wow spectacular show at the Rio. Ready? Ready. All right, come on. <laughs> Another amazing Las Vegas show that I enjoyed. So WoW was awesome, highly recommend you guys go if you're here. I will say though, I've been noticing a lot of the Vegas shows are very similar in nature. Essentially there's a handful of different acrobat performances and in between there's always a moderator, a humorous moderator. That's what I've been noticing. There's always just kind of that the moderator type guy that's really funny and kind of silly and doesn't really do anything like impressive, just kind of silly stuff in between the acrobatic performances, the acts, acrobatic acts. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just going to way too many Vegas shows, but yeah, I've just been noticing a lot of similarities, but either way, amazing show, highly recommend. All right, so that just about does it for the night. We are gonna hit the hay. First things first though, we gotta brush our teeth. You ready to brush your teeth? Yeah. Okay. And look at that, we are in the home office because I did not stay the night with Greta at the Rio, even though it actually was a pretty cool room. Um, <laughs> it was a good fun time to explore 
and uh, just be back in the Rio. It's been a long time. I hope you enjoyed. For the next handful of videos, I'm gonna be just going to all the different best rooms at the hotels in Las Vegas. So I'm gonna just do my best to show the best hotel room in each one, whether it's the penthouse or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be for the foreseeable future. That's what we're gonna be doing here. Hopefully it'll be interesting for you guys. Thank you for watching and I think that's it.